Okay, the next procedure we're going to do is to draw peripheral labs. You get your tourniquet ready. Apply your tourniquet so it can be easily released with a one-finger method. Now I've prepared everything I need here. I'm going to draw with a butterfly. So I've got my butterfly needle. When you open this up, both of your, your ends have needles and they're both capped. So you don't have to you know, be concerned about contaminating those. You, get, you have this vacutainer holder and you screw your needle into here. And get your tube ready to go. Don't push it on, just have it ready. So everything is set to go here. I've picked out my vein, it's all sitting there popped up. I'm going to clean it with a little bit of alcohol. You want to make a fist for me? Clean that area. And let it dry. When you pick up your butterfly needle again, it's butter, it's bevel up. Bevel up means, you know, you look at your needle and pull your tips of your butterfly up so you can easily manipulate them. You have your tube ready to go. I'm going to set this down here. And get ready to insert my needle. I'm going to stabilize the vein and go at it at a shallow angle. One, two, three, in. I get a nice blood return and then I can pop my tube on. And you'll get your blood going right into your tube. You need a couple of cc's for a CMP or most of your chemistries. Mostly you don't have to fill this entire tube. You can remove that and place your next tube on. If you draw PTINR with a butterfly, you need to fill another tube first. The theory is, and actually what happens, is you can displace the amount of air in your tube with the air that's in the butterfly tubing, which means you won't have enough blood in your tube to have the test run properly. Now that I've drawn my blood, I could put a piece of gauze over the site, remove the needle, remove the tourniquet, and we're all done. I'll take my needle and, of course, put it right in my sharps container, which is right handy. Once this is done, stop bleeding, we can uh, apply a bandage and we're all set. That's how you draw blood peripherally with a butterfly.